This is Fuck the Whiff Man Jackson. You're watching WGS TV. Welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on YouTube.com slash WrestleGamer. I don't be Billy Boudreaux. Um, first thing I want to uh, let you guys know is if you're wondering where I'm at on this video, um, well, I'm, I kind of misplaced my webcam. Um, I'm still in the process of looking for it, but, you know, I'm hoping I can find it. If not, I'll just probably run to the store before Monday Night Raw tonight and just, you know, go ahead and get a new one. But in the meantime, um... In this video, it has something to do uh, with John Laurinaitis. Apparently, this was taken from WWE.com. It says, uh, John Laurinaitis may have crawled out of WWE over the limit with a win over John Cena thanks to an interfering big show, but the general manager's victory didn't come without a serious price. WWE.com has gotten word that Mr. Laurinaitis was rushed to the emergency room from Raleigh, North Carolina's uh, PNC Arena, showing signs of a possible concussion, possible ACL damage to his knee, and possible spinal injury. To add to this litany of serious injuries, the executive also suffered contusions over his entire body and was said to have difficulty raising his left arm and left leg, which can indicate possible nerve damage. The general manager may have also suffered a broken clavicle. As of now, none of these injuries have been fully confirmed, and it is unclear whether or not Mr. Lauren Ice will be on Monday Night Raw. Alright. Now, after reading all of that, and hearing all of that, I'm pretty sure you guys can pretty much come to the same conclusion that I can. That this is 100% of work. Because think about it, if these were legit injuries, and I don't think John Laurinaitis would want these things being reported. Now this is legitimate storyline-wise injuries. They're you know they're trying to get what the what the basic plan is from the way I can perceive it, from the way that I look at it. it it's the way it seems. It sounds like they're trying to you know trying to play up to the fact that Laurinaitis is a you know this conquering hero and even though he conquered you know his adversary it's not without it didn't come without a price and that's what he's trying to play up to uh, and that's what WWE.com is trying to play up to and uh, you know that's possibly what we're going to be looking at tonight on Monday Night Raw is Lauren Nidus you know all bandaged, bandaged up bruised possibly uh, wonderful seeing what the uh, you know the old Kurt Angle neck brace if you guys remember that and and or will he will he play the route of doing the Vicky Guerrero wheelchair? I don't know if Vicky Guerrero will call copyright on that, but you know it, it's something we're probably going to be looking at tonight. Is you know Lauren I is just trying to play up to the crowd that oh I overcome the odds all by myself, even though Big Show was fired and whatnot. And you know that's you know that's something you know. So um, for those of you out there who are wondering, you know, are these injuries to John Lauren Itis legit? You know. If WWE.com reports it, it's storyline-wise. I really, I really don't feel, in my personal opinion, that this is legit injuries. Not at all. Not a, not at all. Um, Laurinaitis is a worker. Okay, guys, you need to, people need to know that. You know, if you're if you're new to the wrestling scene, and you know, if you're thinking that Laurinaitis's injuries are are real, you know, that uh, Laurinaitis really got hurt last night. You know, Laurinaitis wouldn't have gotten in the ring if he didn't know he was physically able to. You know, if he had one more match in him, he wouldn't have gotten, you know, if he didn't know he had one more match in him, he wouldn't have gone in the ring. But uh, apparently he knew he, he was ready, he knew he was physically able to go, and that's why um, they went ahead and did what they did. And the only reason... Like I've said already, you know, I'm trying to, you know, express this uh, opinion to you guys. Remember, this is an opinion. You know, this is what I perceive. You know, I don't know if you guys perceive it the way I do. But this is what I perceive and this is what my opinion is. My opinion is that that this is none, nothing but a work by the WWE, a 100% work, you know. And I think another thing that can attribute to that is this lame-ass people power commercial that WWE has posted up on their YouTube channel. And it is just, you know, 
is WWE misusing their storyline, considering the fact apparently WWE has forgotten that uh, on Friday Night SmackDown, John Laurinaitis told all the people that can they can go to hell. So now they're gonna they're posting up a uh, a little montage, a vignette of sorts, with the whole people power uh, gimmick uh, endorsing. So I, I really don't understand, you know, what was the plan with that either. So we're, we're, two things we're gonna be looking forward to on Monday Night Raw tonight, guys, is one them playing up a, a lot, playing them playing up a lot the injury or injuries of sorts. That John Laurinaitis suffered over the limit last night. You notice, you know, if you guys could see me on camera, you would, you'd see me doing the whole finger thing when it comes to uh, injuries. And number two, look to see that People Power commercial being grossly overplayed. You know, pretty much, you know, any chance or any spot they can put that People Power commercial, that People Power ad of sorts. They're going to be doing that, and that's what they're going to use, you know, and that's what they're going to use to try to get under everyone's skin. So, um, you know, that's been my thoughts about it. What I want to know is what are your thoughts in, uh, on this whole thing involving John Laurinaitis? Do you believe his injuries are legit, or do you believe, like me, that it's a work? Be sure you put your comments in the comment section below. Um, don't forget, if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, be sure you visit my Formspring page, formspring.me slash the WrestleGamer. And also, don't forget to like and favorite this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to youtube.com slash WrestleGamer. Remember, when you get up to 1,000 subscribers, that's when we'll have a WGS TV DVD giveaway. But it only happens at 1,000 subscribers. So, with that being said... I'm Double B Billy Butro saying thank you very much for watching. Wrestling of Louisiana proudly presents Ring of Fire at the New Iberia City Park Rec Center in New Iberia, Louisiana, Friday, June 22nd, and Cajun Carnage at the American Legion Hall in Abbeville, Louisiana, Saturday, June 23rd. Come out and watch your GCW superstars put it all on the run as we bring the most intense, most high-impact wrestling that we have to offer. Those on the card, Kid Crash, as well as the one and only Green Man, Bottle Man, Mikey Boudreau. Wolfman Jackson. Another on the line here is the big mother trucker himself, Trucker Jones. Big John Steele, the GCW Big Tag Team Champions, High Definition, as well as the heavyweight champion, The Rocket. Also featuring former WWE superstar and diva, the female fighting phenom Jazz, and Red Dog Rod Mac. That's right, folks, come out to Abbeville and New Iberia. June 22nd and 23rd, as we bring you some of the most intense wrestling here in South Louisiana. Now, tickets are on sale in both locations. For the Iberia Show, gcw-gulfcoastwrestling.com, then click the tickets icon. And for the Abigail Show, call 772-8010-517-6548, then 517-0823. Once again, folks, this is a double weekend, Friday and Saturday. June 22nd and 23rd, New Iberia and Abbeville, Ring of Fire, Cajun Carnage, you do not want to miss this folks, you have every opportunity, so get your tickets now. This is action, this is adrenaline, this is G.